Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Travis Patel with Internet Bizmasters, and what I want to talk to you about today is the power of other people. One thing you're going to learn early as an entrepreneur is that you really can't take a business to the heights you want to on your own. You can't do it all yourself. There's a ceiling of all that you can really do yourself. So you're going to have to use other people, the resources of other people, the skills of other people, sometimes the investments of other people, to build your, your business to that, that height that you want it and to really to take the weight off your shoulders and make your job easier. It's something when I first started, I was doing everything myself. And then when I started hiring out, outsourcing, and really kind of just letting other people do most of the work, uh, my business got so much better. I, I made more money and I did less work. And I don't think any of us really can, you know, deny wanting that. So today I want to show you kind of a group of people that you can contact right now that can help your business take it to the next level. And excuse me, what I want to call what I call these people is inner circle. Every one of us has an inner circle that we can contact right now, make our business better. So this circle really starts out with the people that we come across, the people that our relationships aren't so solid with, that we like to call acquaintances. You know, these are the type of people that when you walk through the street, you know, you're going to say hello when you cross paths, but the relationship isn't strong enough really for you to approach right now. They might have skill sets or they might have a resource that you can really use, but right now today we don't have a relationship to contact them. So that's something you want to work on in the future, making those acquaintances kind of move farther in this relationship scale, the inner circle. Now today the first people you really can contact is going to be your family. All right? Now family, they're going to be the easiest because you're going to be most comfortable with them. You spent your most life with them and they always are there to back you up in most cases. So family is easy to contact. Now if you're asking for money, remember family, it's tough. It'll, it'll put a damper on your relationship if you cannot pay that money back. If you have a solid business plan, maybe proof of profit coming in, you can easily, that's when you can ask family for money. I only suggest that when you have a viable business plan that's making you money to really go for investments with this group of your inner circle. So, but with skills, if your brother maybe does web design or you have a grandpa that owns a business and knows a bunch of other business owners, these are kind of, you know, different things that you can approach them with to, to better your business, do joint ventures with the, your grandpa's friends or have your brother do your web design as you, you know, give him 10% of any sales that come through this site. You know, different stuff like that, that you can leverage what you offer and they leverage what they offer to make a win-win situation for everyone. So family, they're easy to contact. Second group that I would like to contact is friends. Now friends are easy to contact as well because you're very comfortable with them. In most cases they have the same, similar likes and interests and they might even be a part of your business already. So looking deep into the friends that you have really close relationships, your best friends and those friends that offer skill sets and, and resources for you, it's easy to approach them right now, tomorrow. You can call them and, or text them and it's, it, you've opened up that relationship. You already built it. You're already there. So the third group of people that we can really look for in this, this inner circle is going to be our coworkers and our employers and our clients if you have a business already. These are people that you know are interested in your business, especially if, if your coworkers are working in your business or your employers are the same kind of industry that you want to be involved in. And of course your clients are going to definitely be interested in what you're selling. This group of people is easy to approach because they, they, you know, they know what you're worth and with employers and coworkers, you know exactly what they can offer you um, to, to better your business. So this is another group of our inner circle and really what we want to see is those, that very center, you know, that the, the closest relationships, the ones that offer the best resources, the best assets and the ones we can really contact right now. And that's what you, you want to go to find your inner circle. And to do this, you know, just start making a list of everyone that you can think of, of your acquaintances, and start putting them in there in your categories, and see what they offer, and start contacting them. A simple phone call will get you a lot with your business. And I'm going to show you over maybe the next couple of videos, I'm going to send you some things through the newsletter about contacting this inner circle and making, making your job and your business a little easier on you, as well as making more money. And we all want that. So. Definitely uh, stay tuned and I hope that you, you look for your inner circle because the power of other people is what's going to take your business to the next level. Have a great day. Check out internetbizmasters.com 
and contact me anytime if you have any questions about bettering your business. Thank you very much.